Yeah. Well, we know many of you will be talking about the Super Bowl commercials today. Which ones you liked? Which ones missed the mark? And uh, Michelle Beluso is the creative director for Davidson and Beluso, and she joins us now this morning. Michaela, uh, welcome to the show. Glad to have Thank you with us. Thank you. Thank you, Connie. Okay, so let's talk about the ones that you thought were the worst commercials of all. Well, you know, I think uh, that we had um, a lot of sexual innuendo again this year, and I think that's, those are the commercials that people are going to be talking about as far as being the ones that, you know, create the most controversy. Um, I thought Teleflora, uh, I was expecting something more from them. You know, they have a good brand, and they kind of just went to the, uh, I think, the lowest common denominator. But um, it's okay. Hopefully some guys will remember to buy some flowers this, all, you know, this, <laughs> this Valentine's Day. Um, GoDaddy, you know, I, I think they are doing what everybody's expecting to do, so they're staying true to their brand. Um, of course, um, again, that's going to create a lot of controversy. Yeah. Um, and, um, you know, I, overall, I think the commercials this year were not as good as last year, so I have some favorites of my own, but overall, I was a little bit disappointed. So, what, you know, when I was looking at the commercials, and I thought the Doritos ones were the most interesting and kind of clever, and the other ones, like you said, I thought they kind of fell flat a little bit. I wasn't thinking it was really a Super Bowl commercial. Exactly. Yeah, it's just something that you would see, you know, on, on regular programming. Not definitely not worth that kind of budget. So, what was your very favorite? My favorite again this year was Volkswagen. You know, the Beetle, uh, the new Beetle one with the dog uh, trying to get in shape to chase after it. Um, <laughs> I, you know, I appreciate the fact that they went back and tried to uh, leverage what they did last year with uh, Star Wars. But um, I thought that the commercial itself was was cute and fun, and um, you know, just perfect for that audience and for that product. Yeah, I think so too. Michaela, thanks so much for being with us. We Th appreciate it. Thank you, Connie. <laughs> okay. What do you think, Amy? I have to agree with her. The Volkswagen with the Border Collie. Yeah. And then also We Go, which was for Bud Light. They were calling the dog, here we go, here right, we go. Right, and right, right. He did everything. So, yeah. very cute. Cute stuff. Hey, we know many of you will also be talking about the Super Bowl commercials today. And in our last hour, we showed you some of the ones that we missed, uh, that missed the mark. And now we're looking at some of the more popular ones that are out there. And Michaela uh, Beluso, who is the creative director for Davidson and Beluso, is joining us now with more of them. Michaela, good morning. Good morning. So let's talk about the worst one real quick again and recap on what you thought really missed the mark. Uh, you know, again, uh, I think the commercials that really try to focus on sexual innuendo, but not really in a creative way. Um, Teleflora was one that they could have done something a lot more fun uh, with, you know, with the time that they had. Um, um, you know, uh, GoDaddy, although it's a brand that I really love, you know, there's just kind of using the same exact tactic over and over. Although, you know, it works for them. People wouldn't expect anything different. Um, Lots of sexual overtones, lots of animals this time around too, and and, and lots of cars and beer, of course. What were some yeah, of your beer is always a good one for Super Bowl. <laughs> some of your favorites now. Uh, my favorite. Well, we're talking about dogs, and uh, last year the Force commercial with uh, you know the little Darveda was one of my you know all time favorite, and this year Volkswagen didn't um, really didn't disappoint with the dog trying to lose weight. Uh, I thought that was really fun, and uh, you know that was like a 60 seconds commercial. That that was a long one, but it was. All worthwhile. Um, Interesting as that one comes out too as, we're, as we uh, read this morning that actually cats and dogs are more obese than they have been in recent years. I heard that, yeah. Pet <laughs> yeah. owners need to look into that a bit more. Maybe they need to get a beetle. <laughs> Any surprises for you this year? Um, not necessarily surprises. I was just a little bit disappointed overall uh, not to see a lot more, you know, creativity and a lot more um, higher production with commercials. Uh, we were talking about cars. There was uh, the Chevy Silverado was a good one. I thought it was very at the very beginning of the game. So I think maybe I've, it may have gone under the radar, but I thought that was really uh, creative with the whole apocalypse um, idea. I liked that one too, and I thought it was very well produced yeah. and highly produced when you took a look at the ones that followed it. Because exactly, I, exactly. That kind of set the tone for everything else, and you know, I was a little let down for not seeing a lot more um, high production commercials after that. Yeah, I have to agree. I think this year the game was better than the commercials. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Michaela, thanks for being with us. We appreciate it. Nice Thank to you. Have you here. Thanks. Bye bye. Well, what did you think, Aim? I know we were we both watched until Madonna, and then we kind right. of checked out. I thought all of the dog commercials were great, yeah. and I liked the polar bear commercials. The polar, the Coca-Cola. Yes. Doritos were my favorite. I thought those ones were pretty funny. Where the she slingshot was and the baby. Slingshot the baby. And, yeah. <laughs> that was good. A couple of other ones. And then when the dog was burying the cat, and he, and he took the Doritos uh, bag.
bag and slid it over to the guy outside who caught him burying the cat. I didn't see that. And I would put, love that. Uh, you, you didn't see nothing on it and gave him Doritos <laughs> as a bribe. <laughs> I, I would have liked that. Yeah. yeah. Okay.